Can AI make Minecraft? I wanted to put ChatGPT to the test and see if ChatGPT could code Minecraft from scratch. I'm going to be asking how to make Minecraft in Unity and follow each step given to see if we can get a working, playable Minecraft game with a terrain generation system, a player movement system, and a block placing and breaking system. Let's see what happens. So here's the challenge. I'm going to be asking ChatGPT to make Minecraft in Unity, but I cannot change any of the code that I'm given. Every piece of code in the game has to be written by ChatGPT. I saw a video recently where ChatGPT was challenged to make Flappy Bird, so I wanted to try and see how ChatGPT would go making a 3D sandbox game like Minecraft. To get started, I simply asked ChatGPT to give me a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to make Minecraft in Unity. What I received was a guide with eight steps detailing how to make a Minecraft style game in Unity. This guide included scripts that were generated for the player movement system, the block placing system, and the block breaking system. So I figured I would work through all eight steps and see what happened. Step one, first create a new Unity project and import the necessary assets such as textures and models. I created a new Unity project and imported three different assets, including a dirt texture, a grass texture, and a Minecraft tree model that I found online. Step two, create a new terrain by selecting terrain, create terrain from the menu. Customize the terrain settings to create a blocky landscape similar to Minecraft. Now, before I do this, I should mention that I've never used Unity's terrain tool. So I asked ChatGPT for more details on step two. I was given a bunch of steps on how to create terrain in Unity, so I tried it. I created a terrain and followed the steps ChatGPT gave me, but it didn't really look like Minecraft. So I asked it to do the same thing, but to make it more blocky like Minecraft. And I was given a bunch of new steps on how to create a more blocky terrain that looks like Minecraft. This involved adjusting a bunch of the terrain settings and we ended up with this. Now, this didn't really look like Minecraft, but it worked for now. I then added some trees to the map, which helped make it a little bit more like Minecraft, and it was time for step three. Step three, create a new player object by right-clicking in the hierarchy window and selecting create empty. Rename it to player. Complete. Step four, add a camera component to the player object by clicking on the add component button in the inspector window and selecting camera. Complete. Step five, add a movement script to the player object that allows the player to move and jump. Now, this was the first step that actually involved coding, which ChatGPT provided a script for. So I copied the script, added it to our game, added the script to our player, and let's see how it goes. Awesome. So to fix this, I asked ChatGPT to rework the code a few times until I found one that worked and it worked pretty good. Step six, add a block placement script to the player object that allows the player to place and destroy blocks. Once again, since this was a step that involved coding, I was provided a script for a simple block placement system. I copied the script and added it to our game, but I had to make a block prefab before the script would work. I asked ChatGPT how to make a Minecraft block prefab and followed the steps. Now let's test out the block placement system script. One thing to point out with this script is that it has a block breaking system built in, so I didn't need to complete step seven, which was to add a block breaking system to our game. I didn't need to complete step eight either because it was just adding lighting and other effects to make the game look more like Minecraft. And there we go. Minecraft created by AI. Overall, it works. You can move around this map, move and place blocks, but there were a few things to change and add to the game to improve it. So let's do that. The first thing we were going to add to our game was an actual block terrain generation system. Two of the key features from Minecraft our game was missing was a block based terrain and a world generation system. So we were going to add both with one feature. I asked ChatGPT to code a block terrain generation system like Minecraft for Unity. And I was given a script that would do that. This script generates a 2D array of Perlin noise values, then loops through each element of the array and instantiates a block prefab at the appropriate position based on the array value. It also sets the top block to be grass. I have no idea what that means. It's just what ChatGPT told me. I added the script to my game and here's what happened. Just with one script, we had a Minecraft style terrain generation system. I adjusted some of the values on the terrain generator object that would change the size of the map and now our game looked more like Minecraft. 
Now, when I asked ChatGPT to code a block terrain generation system like Minecraft, one thing that was mentioned was that I would need to add the ability for the player to destroy blocks in the world. So I asked ChatGPT to code this feature. Obviously, I already had a block breaking system in the game, but since it was only for player placed blocks, I just removed it, as I wanted the player to be able to break any blocks in the game. Anyway, I was given a script for this feature, which I had to ask ChatGPT to change a few times, as at first, you could only break blocks in front of the player, but after a few tries, I had a script that worked pretty good. Now, it was time to add a new block placing system. I asked ChatGPT to make me a script for a block placing system, received a script, added it to our game, and this is what happened. I then asked ChatGPT to make the script similar to the block placing system in Minecraft, received an updated script, added the updated script to our game, and this happened. So I asked ChatGPT to fix the script so that blocks are only placed where the player is looking, and now it works great. Now that the player could place and break blocks, it was time to add trees to our terrain generation system. I asked ChatGPT to add tree generation to our terrain generation system, and after a few attempts, our game was spawning trees. Now, the next thing I tried to do was get ChatGPT to create a randomized terrain generation system so that each time we played the game, a different terrain would be generated. And after a bunch of different scripts, I think it worked. Anyway, this was the completed version of the game. ChatGPT had actually coded a remake of Minecraft. There was a random terrain generation system that would generate dirt, grass, and trees. There was also a player movement system and a block placing and breaking system. Overall, this was pretty much Minecraft coded by AI. So there we go. After asking ChatGPT how to make Minecraft, working through the steps provided, and asking for improvements and other features added to the game, we ended up with a playable Minecraft style game. Overall, the game is pretty glitchy, but it works great as a starting project. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, leave a comment as well, and you can also subscribe to the channel. Peace.